We have a big day today. Don't forget to stop by our website after this video for all your travel inspo and check out our new line of merch with sizing from the little tackers through to your triple XL. There is literally something for everyone. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes. I'll tell you what, this is a classic case of never judge a book by its cover. And one of these places on the not to visit list is Rockhampton. And look, I don't think it's a bad town or anything like that, but I've spent way too much time in there with the Defence Force. And because we've boycotted Rockhampton, we have missed out on a gem of a place, and that place is Yapoon. And honest to God, we have been living up the spoils of this place from Great Keppel Island, the awesome beaches, the reef, the bays, it's just absolutely amazing to the actual star of the place and that is the lagoon you can't go past that place without visiting it is bloody awesome and some big dollars spent if you know us we like to keep off the off beaten track and this is where we've actually been camped out it's called mill fargo it's a hip camp just outside of the north side of town about 10 minutes out and it puts you right at the doorstep of all your coals dump points water points and everything that you actually need even though you can get power and water on this farm camp. It's absolutely amazing. We just kept bumping into all these people that we met on the road and friends and everything like that. So you might have seen uh, you, me, Capri with their cool double door leader van. And we've seen Mark and Vanessa from our Cape videos as well. We haven't seen them for over a year. Um, it was like the Cape last time we met them. So we've just been bunkered down here, having some good nights of fires and everything like that. But it is time to break away and head out to this weapon of the camp that we've picked out. So hook up the squid jig, hook up the goat, go into town, get some water and a couple of groceries and then we'll take you out to this uh, weapon of a place. If you're chasing any more information about Mill Fargo Farms Day, I have put the link in the description below. It is a ripper little stay, so definitely mark it down. But this episode is about the next campground. Located 38 k's due north of Yapoon, up over the subtropical rainforests and past the lush green farms of the farmland and into this massive pine plantation. And the dirt road going in was pretty tame, but that was the least of our worries because we're just about to find out if we booked a campsite that we can't even get into. I need my a minute to get my breath. I'll tell you what, pickle tits has come into her own with driving this rig now when I'm droning and filming and stuff like that. She handles it like a bloody champ. I'm so proud of Steph at the moment, but we're finally here. And this place is called Byfield National Park and we're at Upper Stony Creek. So it is a famous spot. So we've got high hopes for this place, but I've got a problem. I don't know if I booked the right site to fit the big squid jig in so I'm gonna do a walk around first to see if I just stuffed up or not so I know there's caravan sites and tent sites um, and there was only one spot left but I'm not really sure if I booked a, a tent site or not so yeah and the rig's pretty big like the squid is a huge rig so yeah trying to square squeeze that into a um, squeeze that into a uh, tent site's not gonna work but I'll take a bit of a wander. All right, speed mode coming up. And it's about this point right here, I was praying that number 13 was gonna be big enough because there was no way I was gonna walk back up to Steph and tell her that we weren't camping here tonight. But lady luck was on my side because 13 turned in to be a ripper of a little campsite. All right guys, so we're trying to get down into Bay 13. So they're trying to back this down here. It's a bit sketchy, but. Okay, do you wanna to turn to the right? Slowly, 
just because you're going into a rut. Yep, turn. Um, yeah, no, you're all good. You want to start turning the other way? Just get him. Yep, so now start turning hard in. There's just bushes on this side, but you're right, you can push through them anyway. Can you hear me the could you hear me the whole time? Or just now? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a sec. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you're right, go. You're right, just straighten up babe, you're right. Yeah. All good? Yeah. Alright, so we are here. Steph's changing her mind again. I am not! You are. I just said you it would have been better if we drove in and parked there. You know, then because we got solar. Solar. See? You might have a point. <laughs> All that effort. Oh, we're going to have no and... solar. Like, what's the time right now? Yeah. So you want the van over it's there? It's nearly two o'clock and there's nothing on the van. Yeah. What do you think, mate? You reckon, we'll, Wesy? We'll make him make a call, little Wes. Do you like the van there? Or do you want it over there in the sun? At three votes of one, looks like I'm shuffling the van again. Yeah. Oh, so we all set up. Yeah. I'll tell you what, what a specky little place. Look at this. Kids have got some, I don't even know, box, box racing, box boats. What are you doing? <laughs> box boats. Yeah, box, box boats. Uh, Pickle Tick is definitely right. She's actually uh, got us into the sun, got some solar. She's all set up and stuff, but how hot is it? It'd be tipping 30, wouldn't it? It's warm. It's warm, but lucky, 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 we've got a place set. We're going to show you guys why this place is so special. So have a look at this one. So this guy is trying to do our oh, water. It was a rough night last night. Eh? Like our little grommet Georgie is not being kind to us when it comes to night time sleeping. Eh? It's uh, oh, it was a rough night. If like, anyone's got any hot tips, tips for, us? for a three-year-old not staying in their bunk from in the comments guys we need some help <laughs> but anyway we've got a big day anyway planned um but i've got to get the water in the tank so a lot of people actually ask us about the bladder system so we've got a flexi mate bladder it's 150 liters and we use this little whaler pump for a anderson plug just on the side of it so this is our anderson plug that we run for the fridge so i just swap that out and then pump the water in so that gives us an extra 150 liters above what's in the caravan so yeah, we just had nice warm showers this morning, Steph and I and the kids and stuff, so we're all fresh. And then we've got another 150 litres pump in, so we've still got 200 plus litres in the tank. So, yeah, if you need that extra water capacity, they're a banger. Definitely get one. But anyway. And where are they from? Did you already say? Flexi Mag. Yeah, Flexi like on eBay. Flexi Mag, eBay. eBay. Yeah, you can get them off oh, eBay. You did say that. I think you did say that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, oh. we have a big day today. So <laughs> sure, you know. We're going to try... I emphasize that word, try, 
<laughs> and attempt Big Sandy. Or I'm actually thinking about getting pickle tits in the driver's seat to tackle Big Sandy as well. So What's Big Sandy? I don't even know. What Big Sandy is a one kilometre sand hill. No. Up to five mile rocks or I'm five rocks. Five that. rocks. So, yeah, we're going to try to tackle that today. So it is one of the most... Uh, notorious bits of four driving around the byfield so yeah the gate pickle tits we're gonna go do it oh my god he's not even checking it this guy coming to terms with it, we're just about to do big sanding these nice little tracks and river crossings were nothing compared to what we had in front of us and for some of you that don't know big sandy is one of the biggest and most notorious sand dunes in australia with guaranteed boggings, breakdowns, and even worse. And as we pass over this last little bridge, we pull up the check tire pressure area to swap drivers and bang Steph into the shotgun seat. And she has no idea what she's in for. We're at the start of the sand dune bits now. So we're at the deep tracks, like we've let down the tires. In the car. Yeah, this is a bit of, out. this is your practice I can't bit. Even stop. We're in two wheel drive, bub, it's okay. All right, so we just pulled up on the side. We've got pickle tickets in the driver's seat. You're gonna attempt this. I think this is Big Sandy, so. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to do this. He's just oh, broken me into it. That's cool. It, yeah, I just don't want someone it's else to come down that way. all part of the way. adventure, bub. So they keep telling me. Right. Who are they? So I'm gonna try to mount this up here, and then I'll be up on the phone trying to film you, okay? No idea. All right, you scared? No, All right. Let her rip potato chip, mate. Right. Second gear, yeah? Now, straight into second gear. Like now. Oh my god, okay. having him belt down. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot we were being filmed. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> uh, uh, Holy crap. We've got to come back down. shaking up. I'll tell you what, Steph done a ripper job getting up this far, but she wasn't confident to take it any further. So we end up swapping drivers, me in the shotgun seat, and I was going to make this bloody V8 sink. Mommy, you're walking the whole way. Holy Jesus! 
Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this poor truck. Yeah, we're almost at the top. <laughs> Woo <-hoo>. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, on the walk, long walk back down to help the fellow man. I reckon there's a lot of boggings here, like the angle of this track and just the sand. Yeah, crazy stuff. So I think there's like three or four people bogged down here now. So After help recover a few cars, I moved over to the last one, which was this Hilux. But then in the background, I heard this thing. I can see something very interesting coming up the hill. So. There we go, the patrol. Survey blaring, mate. Woo! Here we go. Away you go. Come on. To that sand. Go on, brother. There he goes. He's on now. a bit of a walk I think. Yes. Yes? How much of a walk? I don't know. That's a bit uh look at that art. That's a bit of typical as soon as we oh. get here. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, that's weird. Is that a skeleton? Oh. Skeleton? Yeah, as soon as skeleton. we get here George falls asleep, hey. Oh there's a coconut. And a coconut? Do you get it? Looks no. like some Blair Witch project stuff. <laughs> yeah it looks cool though. All right, let's see how far this walk is. We headed over to this little map information board to choose the path that we wanted to take and we chose the one down towards the beach area and oh my god, this place is absolutely stunning. The pictures don't do it justice, all the drone work, but just check this out. Headland out there, so you can do the headland more, which we're not doing today. Look at this cool little place! This is amazing, it's like a little cubby house. Georgie, this is so cool. How beautiful is this? This is so awesome. I've never actually ever been to a place where there's a running waterfall and a beach. I'm Blown away. This is stunning. This, like, is, this is probably one of the nicest places we've ever been to, I reckon. That, that, I, I've never seen this on film before, like anything like this. Actually amazing. Yeah. Like, look at this, look what the kids are playing. Like, oh, oh, this is unreal. What's that? I don't know. Someone's like actually built, like a little, this is unreal. This is unreal. Do you reckon this is somewhere where you'd like to be stranded? Yeah. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Like, we, we woke up this morning and we're like, now we're too tired to do this, but now I'm just like... So glad we did. So glad we did. This is awesome. What? What's yeah. This? Five rocks. Put it on your list. I keep saying that, but put it on your list. Do Upper Stony Creek, five rocks. Yeah, magic. And we pass all these little towns like uh, Stockyard and 
nine mile and stuff like that, I'll bet you they're just the same. But around that point, there's actually cars on the beach around that point over around there, so I don't mm. know how to get there, but. You just made the biggest call since we've been on the road. What did you say? I've, I said it already. Yeah, I know, but you've got to say it. one of my favorite places. One of your favorite places? Yeah. You said it was your favorite place. It is. As the hours counted down and as hard as it was, we had to say bye to Five Rocks, but we snuck in amid of the meditation. But then we head into the tiny town of Stockyard, which only has a handful of residents, but we wanted to check out this wiry little track out towards the headland, which double backs and overlooks the magic Nine Mile Beach. Like I said, the day was getting on a bit and we had a massive drive back and the last thing we wanted to do was take a wrong bloody turn. Which, um, yeah, what can I say, end up happening. <laughs> I think we're taking a wrong turn, so um, we're supposed to be going back through and down Big Sandy, but yeah, now we're at uh, Nine Mile Beach for some reason, so I don't know. No, this is fresh. We're taking in our stride. Fresh water. So yeah, turn around and have a look. So we just come out to Freshwater Creek entrance at Nine Mile. I'm not going the right way that like, but I don't know, this looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. This reminds us of uh, Tiwa. Tiwa, yeah, Island. very much like Tiwa. This is so Tiwa. The unplanned detour turned out pretty well, so we took a rip up Nine Mile Beach to find the next exit, which would take us back to up to Sony Creek. But the adventure wasn't over yet because we come face to face with Big Sandy's angry little cousin. Check this one out. You keep throwing it at us, but the old goat she keeps knocking them out on the park. I love this truck. But now I'm starving, absolutely famished. We haven't had any lunch and it's like three o'clock and I feel for a little grommet, so we're gonna power through and uh, try to find somewhere to eat on the way home, hey, maybe Byfield or something like that. So yeah, we'll see you guys back at the caravan. We were definitely cutting it close because we just got back to Byfield General Store for a nice little feed before heading back to the van. And to finish off the day, we headed around the campfire and who couldn't resist this cheeky little swim before heading to bed?
that concludes our episode on Upper Stony Creek and Byfield National Park. I hope you guys enjoyed every moment of it. We've definitely enjoyed every moment making this video. It was an absolute ripper of a say. All the links in the description below, so go check them out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss in any upcoming episodes. And thanks very much, guys. We really do appreciate the support and check you on the next one. Peace, guys. Cheers.